Welcome everyone. What does your crush think about you is today's timeless pick a card. Option one, we have temperance. Option two, the chariot. And option three, the world. Timestamps will be in the description box. If you need more time to choose, you can pause the video now. See you there. Welcome, option one. You chose temperance. This is going to be a reading about what your crush thinks of you. All right, before we move for further, I want to remind you guys that I do have an Etsy store with healing bracelets, such as this one that you can see here. This is actually a set. You can see all about it in my community page, and you can head over to the store. There's a, a link with a 10% discount in the description box in case you're interested um, in learning about what each and every one of these bracelet sets and bracelets can actually help you with. So, before um, we moved on, I wanted to let you guys know about that. And, you know, sometimes some of these crystals come up in the readings as, uh, and they can be seen as prescriptions as well as, you what, as what you may be needing. Okay, temperance. Someone here could have Sagittarius in their chart. Maybe you, maybe your crush uh, could be there, could be some kind of, sorry, strong placement in Sagittarius. But again, doesn't have to be. This is just one synchronicity that you can take. Um, the number 14 could be relevant to you. 1 plus 4 is a 5. So there's something about change here. They do see you as different. And somewhat eccentric could be. What do they think of you? They think you're definitely different. They think that you're peaceful. They think that you're balanced. And they think that you're very high vibrational. They see you as someone who is capable of transmuting negative into positive energy. And no matter what you go through, you can always see the positive side. They see you as someone, they think you're someone who is doing a balancing act and that you balance things quite well in your life. You could be a multitasker. They do see you as quite beautiful and almost angelic. Like whenever you walk into a room or whenever they see you, they kind of feel that you're someone who raises the vibration around you. Okay, so that's the first impression about what your crush thinks about you. Um, what else do we want to get? Oh, the lion. Okay, they like your hair. That's the one thing that I'm seeing right off the bat. They do like your hair. Um... You could have Leo strongly in your chart. You could have Leo Sagittarius or Aries in your chart. They could. They could have Leo in their chart, definitely, or you could. There's something about your hair that they really, really like. They do see you as someone very patient. And there's something regal about you. It's like you're almost royalty. The way you carry yourself is very... It's your posture as well, your confidence. They do like your confidence. They, they feel like you've mastered something in your life or that you are very um, well-rounded and very complete, like the, the whole package is what I'm seeing here. They also think that you may have transformed yourself in some way. They may have noticed a transformation, but they see you as peaceful and strong. Peace and strength is what I'm seeing here. At times, they may um, find that you are a little bit withdrawn but they see that you could be a really, really good friend as well. They see loyalty. Yeah. But they also feel you may be a little bit aloof at times and hard to access. Hard to access here. Hmm. What does your crush think about you? Okay, procrastination. That will go well with the lion there because, you know, the, the, the lioness is the one who... Um, who hunts while the lion waits or rests. So it could be that they do see, and we have the number eight there, which is the strength, the, the number of the strength card in the tarot. So they do see you as someone who holds back and you procrastinate on something. Maybe they, they may be procrastinating on you in some way, if, if that resonates. The number eight, they see that sometimes you may go in a loop in your life like you, your routines are very set in some way. They do see you as someone who is stable and prosperous. 
but they see you as someone who's procrastinating on something, something that you're good at or something that you you inspire them in some way because I'm looking at this flame, but it's like they wish that you would follow your inspirations more. They see you as someone who has more to give. Yeah, they see you as someone who has lots of opportunities and doors and windows of opportunities opening for you. They see you as someone they would like to collaborate with. They see you as someone they would synergize well with. And together you would create a lot of possibilities. They see you as someone who brings them a lot of insight in whatever shape or form, but they do see you as someone who inspires them. They want to communicate with you and they want to give you an opportunity or they want you to give them an opportunity here. Yeah, they see you as someone with infinite energy, infinite knowledge, infinite opportunities, possibilities. They see you as very well-rounded and that everything really comes your way and it's because of who you are. But they think that you procrastinate. They think that you have, that you could be more, do more, whatever this is, and they see you as someone very patient, maybe a little bit too patient. Maybe they feel like you should take more action or something like this, that maybe you're a bit too patient. I don't know what too patient means, but you take that as it resonates. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, we have mature man here. So this could be someone who is older than you, or you could be the older masculine energy. I'm seeing an older masculine energy here. And this could be like someone who lives in a different place. It could be a long distance thing, or it could be someone who is somehow involved with geography, mapping, traveling. Or this could just be someone who's quite old school if this is a masculine energy. If you're a masculine energy, you're quite old school. Someone who is traditional but also likes adventure. Someone here could be a life path 5 or 8 or 4 in numerology. I do know numerology reports, by the way, in case you're interested, you can find my email in the description box. If you're the mature person, they see you as mature and knowledgeable. If this is a mature person who is older than you, this person really is curious about you and sees you as very different and like you represent some kind of change for them. Maybe they're being patient with you. Okay, now you guys got the garnet and garnet is a very um, healing for the masculine energy. I'm actually wearing one now, interesting, and I do have one in the store as well for both for, for uh, men and women can use it. It's to heal either the relationship with the masculine or the masculine masculinity within self. So let's see. We have sexuality. Oh yeah, life force and intensity. They do see you as someone very sexually attractive, very intense, and like uh, there's there's more to you. There's a life force. It's like you have this strength and this and this energy and this um, vitality and this spark that you have. And they, they feel that you would be very sexually healing to them in this in the highest form. Yeah, they do feel love, passion, and devotion toward you. Wow. And they feel that you are very loving, passionate, and devoted and loyal. But that there, there's some blocks to the desires of the heart that you have that you're not removing that need to be removed because that's why you procrastinate. You block yourself in some way. But they see you as someone who has fully stepped into their sexual power, someone who embraces your body, and someone who is non-judgmental, and that you remove all judgments between you and your own pleasure, and they make it makes them want to do the same. And it's, it's tantric sex. So they see themselves having tantric sex with you, or the fact that they're not in close proximity with you, or the, the fact that you may not be fully involved makes them, it's like a, a tantric sex experience that they have with you constantly. And it's like you heighten the sexual experience for them in whatever way, shape, or form. Something about your chest that they like, if you're a feminine energy, and of course if you're a masculine as well, the chest here. And they see you as someone who can help heal sexual trauma for anyone who's been through that. 
or they see you as someone who is healing sexual trauma. Take what resonates. They see you as someone who helps them identify and illuminate self-sabotaging behaviors, or it's like you illuminate, if they self-sabotage, you illuminate that, that for them. Maybe they think you sabotage as well. There's certain a mirroring going on here. Yeah, it's like they see you as someone who is very connected mind, body, and spirit. Like there's a beautiful balance there and you help them do the same. Okay, uh, signs coming through here. We have Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius could be in your chart, their chart strongly. Mars and Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius more specifically, maybe for some of you. Okay, what does your crush think about you? Hmm. One. Yeah, you're very self-driven. You're like a natural-born leader. You're a go-getter. They could see you as having very masculine energy as well. South node, but sometimes you hold yourself back. You hold yourself back from starting things because of a comfort zone, Cancerian energy, Aries energy coming through and Cancerian energy. You hold yourself back because of a comfort zone. There's more to you. You're a natural born leader. They see you as very nurturing. For some of you, very feminine or very masculine, depending on who's watching this. It's like you have feminine and masculine balanced within you very well. Yin and yang. Light and dark. They see you as someone who is very loving with your family. You would be a good mother or a good father. Okay, let's look at the tarot now. I'm actually going to shuffle. I've been enjoying shuffling just the tarot part as of late. So I do shuffle all the decks and I don't have any prearranged piles. I'm just taking them off the top of the piles that I do shuffle. But this one I want to shuffle for you guys. I feel you guys need to take deep breaths for whatever reason. The Fool. Yeah, that's that Aries energy, that masculine energy. But it's also like you take risks. You do take risks. Even though they may feel that you could take more risks. But you do. They do see you as a risk taker. Someone, They see you as someone who is very brave. They see you as someone who is very, very brave. Maybe you're the one who kicks them out of their own procrastination or you want, you make them want to stop procrastinating. When yeah, you make them think of infinite possibilities even for themselves. You make them want to take risks, you make them want to go on an adventure, you make them want to start a new life. They see you as someone very brave. They may as, as well see you as someone who would do something that to them would be considered foolish. You could be a lone wolf, but I'm seeing a rabbit here. So that is sexual energy right there. And the wolf. They see you as um, someone who likes to be alone. They could be a lone wolf themselves. Three of wands. This person could definitely be at a distance from you. And they want to close the gap. This person is somehow longing for you waiting for an opportunity with you, whatever that means. Seven of Cups, they do fantasize about you. And it's because of how you make them feel. You make them heartbeat, their heartbeat fast. You activate their heart chakra. Yes, and as I said that, confirming we have the Ace of Cups. They see you as a new emotional beginning or a renewed emotional beginning. A new beginning in love. You make them, they feel like you do have a lot of self-love and you teach them a lot about loving themselves. That one went to the floor. I'm not taking it. Queen of Cups. Yeah, they see you as someone who is very loving. They think you're very, very loving. Five of Swords. But some something about this brings them some mental conflict here. Okay. And they see that you are at times mentally conflicted while at other times very, very balanced. You could have Libra in your chart. Okay. 
that is your reading, guys. I'm, I've been told this is the reading. This is the full spectrum of the reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope it brought you the clarity that you seek. And watch out for the next one. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share to help the channel, to help me bring you more. Hit that bell if you'd like to be noti notified of future uploads on the channel. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome to all of you who chose the chariot as your option to hear about what your crush thinks about you before we move into the reading. Just a reminder, I do have an Etsy store with healing bracelets. This is a set that is now available. So if you're interested, go check it out. The link is in the description box with a special discount code. Okay, moving into your reading. The number seven could be relevant Cancerian energy, something about travel or trips, road trips, a city. I'm seeing Dallas for some reason. I am seeing Dallas. I'm just seeing Dallas, Austin, but Dallas, Chicago. I'm seeing some kind of an American city. I'm also seeing Hong Kong. Yeah, that's what's coming through, but again, just take what resonates. It doesn't have to be for everyone. This person thinks that you travel a lot. This person thinks that you are going to be very successful. You're going to achieve your goals. They see you on the move a lot. They see you on some kind of a spiritual journey. There's something mysterious about you. This person may think about traveling to see you or moving to be able to see you or something like that. Okay. Ooh, the starfish. You definitely stand out, stand out to them. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy strongly in your chart. They see you have like star energy. Like there's something about you that is unique, that shines, that is beautiful. And... They think that you're perfect, like something about your body would be perfect, is perfect. Something about if you took your clothes off, they think you would look perfect everywhere. They see you as beautiful, they do see you as alluring, but they wonder if you're superficial or shallow at times. They do wonder this. They could think that a lot of people gossip about you. They do see you as very expressive, possibly a little bit artistic, uplifting for sure. But it's like a natural, exquisite beauty. That's how they see you. They like your natural beauty or you, your beauty looks natural regardless of whatever you may have done. They feel like they're under a spell with you. They wonder if you have a deeper calling. They wonder what's beyond your outward appearance. They want to get to know you better. And they wonder what's what's beyond. Okay, rejection. This may have been someone that you rejected or they may think that you would reject them. The number 13 could be relevant, the number four. There's something about your chest that they like. They may, they may think you've been rejected, or they may have rejected you, or they think you may reject them. Take what resonates. And so they don't really show themselves, or they don't really reveal their feelings, or they don't tell you. See how he looks like he's hidden there? Hmm. They see you as someone who's quite disciplined and well put together, like you know how to get dressed or something. They like the way you present yourself. Yeah, it's like your image is very important to you, is what they see. And you do really present yourself well. They like your physical body. They like what, what you show them in terms, even if of your life philosophy or whatever they know about you. They like what they see. They just wonder if there's more and what's... Like, they want to be welcomed by you, but they fear rejection. They want to be welcomed into your magical world, because that's what I'm hearing. But they wonder if... You would be rejected, and if they would like what they see on the other side, if it matches what they see on the outside. This is interesting. Vulnerability. They see you as someone, they wonder if they could be vulnerable with you. They do see you as someone who 
in some way you could be quite vulnerable or in a vulnerable position right now. But they do, like you make them think that they want to be vulnerable with you and that they want to see more. Again, they want you to be vulnerable with them. The number 56 could be relevant as well as the number 11. It's like you're hiding something. They, they think that you're hiding something. But they they think that what you're hiding is really good, but they wonder if it if it is that good. Wow, this is just interesting. Simplicity. They like the way that you're simple and light as a feather. They like your simplicity. They think it's beautiful. And you make things look simple. This person could be wealthy or you could be wealthy. Or, or you know, they could see you as wealthy. They could think you're wealthy, but this could be someone who is wealthy. The number 13 and the number 4 could be relevant. 13, 13 is, could be a significant number here. Okay. You guys got fluorite. I do happen to have a fluorite bracelet in the store as well, so if you're interested, go check it out for the description. Organization, clear and priorities. They feel you're someone very organized. You have your priorities in place, and they just want to know what's beyond. They want to make sure that you are transparent. They do feel that you're someone very structured, and I feel like you mirror each other in this way and they feel like you could be very free together because you are very disciplined. You know, a lot of people feel like discipline, being disciplined is like being stuck or imprisoned or in a cage, like having to do things. But actually, the more disciplined you are, the more freedom you can then experience. If you notice, the more you organize your, your space, your house, your, your mind, your health, the more freedom you can then experience because the healthier you are. The, the, the more your environment breathes and the more it flows, like feng shui. I do feng shui consult, consult, consultations, by the way. You can find my email in the description box for that as well. But they just see you as someone who has very clear priorities and that you, you are very respectful of your priorities. Structure, it can provide freedom. And fluoride helps organize your life from top to bottom, heightening focus and releasing unnecessary stress. So I see you as someone focused. Someone who doesn't stress unnecessarily. And they look at you like someone who, who inspires them to feel less stressed or to... Or they see you as their match in this sense. Fluoride assists with bringing clarity into your life, lifting your mental capabilities. They feel like you have very strong main, mental capabilities for crystal clear intuition and empowered decision making. They think you're a good decision maker and that you have a clear intuition by taking your discernment up a notch if you need help with with that by the way wearing fluorite is actually really good by taking your discernment they have you have good discernment fluoride protects against ba against bad influences and psychic manipulation they feel like you could be very protective of their energy being around you it's like you're a, a, a like a, a lucky charm to them fluoride both grounds and lifts your energy that you lift their energy, you lift their connecting your body to the earth and to higher spiritual awareness at the same time. They do see you as someone who, priorita who prioritizes balance in your life. You could have Capricorn or Pisces strongly in your chart. They could, doesn't have to be. More specifically, maybe Mercury and Capricorn or Pisces. Okay. The moon, Cancerian energy. They feel you're highly intuitive and possibly very feminine, the, the, the number eight and the eighth house, very sexually attractive, Virgo, very organized, and very clean looking, like they like the way you take care of yourself, because it's like you have this like clean, it's like you're clean, everything about you is clean, they just see you as clean, so the, 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 they imagine you being clean to like the last detail in your body, in your mind, in your soul, like you're, there's a purity about you, that makes you super attractive and makes them want to open up and be vulnerable with you and intimate with you. They feel they would be safe being vulnerable and intimate with you, but they're wondering if you would reject them, if they're clean enough for you. Wow. They have emotions for you, sexual attraction for sure. They're very attracted to you and they want to 
go deeper with this. They want to experience deep intimacy with you. They want to be vulnerable with you. Wow, this is very, very nice, interesting reading. What does your crush think about you? What does your crush think about you? Queen of Cups, Five of Swords. This is actually from the last pick pile, so if it comes back again, it was meant to. If not, I'm just going to take this as a sign that I need to clear this deck and keep shuffling. The Hangman, okay. They see you could be quite stagnant right now. They see you as someone who is able to see things from a different perspective. They may see you as someone who is stuck in some way, shape, or form. The number 12 could be relevant. That's Piscean energy as well, the number 3. But they see you as someone who's very uh, enlightened and someone who, despite the fact that you may look stuck, you do keep evolving and progressing in life. You, they see you as someone who could enlighten them and help them see life from a different perspective. Ooh. They're, you're unlike anyone they've ever met. Like you have everything so put together, they wonder if that's really the case. Because this is what they think of you. It doesn't mean that this is the truth of who you are. You tell me in the comments if this is who you are. If, if what they think of you really aligns with who you are. That would be very interesting. Because sometimes our rising sign can give people a certain image. And then what goes on is different, right? Page of Swords. This person spies on you. They're very curious about you. They do their research here, okay? You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. They could. This person's very curious about you. They see you as someone who is studious or you're a student. Someone who studies. You do your research. They see you as someone who does your research. Or they've seen you in the library. Or they've seen you researching. Or they know you research. Something like that. Three of Pentacles. They think you're someone who has a very structured, well put together foundation and that you will be prosperous and stable in your life. And they see them, they, they think you are someone with whom they could build a solid, stable foundation in some way, shape or form, whatever that means. Nine of Swords. But they, in some way, they also see you as someone who experiences anxiety, possibly sleepless nights. You stress too much out about things. You may stress a little bit. Or there's something about you structuring the way you experience your emotions and you don't stress out. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you balance out your stress really well. You don't allow yourself to go full-blown stress. You stop yourself before it keeps going. Nine of Cups. They see you as someone who makes your dreams come true and you live a fulfilling life and you're very fulfilled within yourself that you don't need anyone else that you don't need anyone else that you're good on your own or that you're self-sufficient they do see you as self-sufficient and they see you as a wish come true they see that life is very simple with someone like you yeah that was your reading i hope this resonated it was very interesting and of course, thank you all for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps you bring you more. Um, thank you so much for watching. And hit that bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. It was a pleasure to read for everyone. See you next time. Bye. Welcome to all of you who chose the world. We're going to see what your crush thinks of you before we move into your reading. Just to remind you guys, I have an Etsy store with these healing bracelets. This is actually a set that is now available there. You can find it in the link in the description box that has a special discount attached to it. So you can find it there. Okay, moving on to your reading. You could have fixed signs strongly in your chart. Doesn't have to be, maybe this person does. Seeing Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius very possibly. Um, the number 21 could be relevant here. The number three, they see you as someone who keeps moving forward. They see you as someone uh, well accomplished in the 3D. Uh, you have like this image of success to them, like you have it all going for you. They like your body, your whole body, they like it. They find you extremely alluring and seductive and sensual. They like your eyes, they love your eyes. They just want to cuddle with you. They see you're good with animals or something. If you're a mother, they think you're a really good mother. They, you look younger than your age. Or they just see you as very pure and nice and 
lovely. They see you as someone very sweet, but also like you don't let people mess with you. Interesting. Interesting. You have a, like a bird's eye view, like you're smart, like a hawk. You can see things at a distance. This person is preparing to somehow say something to you or connect with you or whatever. Hmm, okay. What does this person think about you? The cheetah? They think you're fast. Fast moving. You stop at nothing. You just keep moving. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy could be in your chart. They see you as fast moving. Oh, okay. So uh, they, they see you as someone who could cheat. Possibly. Or they do see you as a cheater. Hmm. That's just for some of you, okay? I don't believe everyone here is. But they see you as someone who, you're, you have a lot of energy. That's what I'm seeing here. You just have a lot of energy. You can achieve anything. Your energy is boundless. You could be a little bit impatient, a little bit competitive. Yeah. It's like you're, you're, you're like, um, it's like you're, you're charged with solar energy. And they just wonder how you're able to do things so fast. It's like, and and they may see you as like a runner, like you run away or you're, you, they're never fast enough to like be where you are or they try to catch you and you've, you're gone or something like that. Wow, this is very interesting. Pay attention to the signs. This person has been getting signs and synchronicities about you. They see you as someone who could be an adventure lover or you're always on the go. They see you as wise. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy coming through the number 10, the number 1. They see you as very driven, driven by your intuition, and they see you as very inspiring as well. They like your chest. They like your arms. Okay. They like your eyes, the way you look at them. It's like you're always going somewhere. You're always busy doing something and then you turn and you look at them and you see them and then you keep going or whatever. Like, oh, this is so interesting. It's like, catch me if you can. I just heard that. Square, like you're a challenge to this person. And yeah, it's like you motivate them, you pressure them, you frustrate them at the same time. And they see that as a struggle, but they, it kind of makes them, they're trying to work you out and they're trying to they feel blocked at times, at other times they don't know what to do. It's like you keep this person on their toes or confused or something. Okay. The sound of the universe. It's like you're tapped into so many things at once and like you're not really paying attention to just them or just one thing or it's like you're you're it's like you're doing many things at once and you're very connected to the universe in some way. You're very focused on things that you're doing. And you're very in tune with the universe. Very in tune with the universe. Okay. Hmm. They think you make healthy choices or that you're a healthy person. They think you love yourself, like there's a lot of self-love, self-care. They see you as someone who is happy. Happy, uplifting. They see you as someone they could um, marry or engage to. Or you may be engaged. Depends on what, what resonates with you. But they see you as um, committed or they someone they want to commit to. They wonder if you would maybe cheat on them because you're not focused on them. Whatever. Wow, this is like so... It's getting juicy here. This reading. Um, Pluto, they see you as powerful, scorpionic energy. Wow, you're, that's why the eyes, yes. Taurus energy here, yours or theirs energy. And the number four, Cancerian energy. They see you as, but you are disciplined and you are structured. You know where you're going. You have your priorities in place. They just wonder if a relationship is a priority for you. Um, you guys got Labradorite. I'm actually wearing Labradorite if you're interested. 
I don't think this is the one that is available in the store. There's another one. Transformation, magic, and imagination. They think you have a good imagination, that you're always transforming, and there's something magical about you. The number six could be relevant, so I'm seeing Libra as well. The month of October could be significant. A stone of transition. They see you going through some kind of transition right now. Labradorite assists in times of change and transformation. They may see you going through a, a change and a transformation. Or they may have seen you transformed. Maybe you've, you've dyed your hair a different color or something. Maybe you experiment with different colors. I'm seeing blonde, I'm seeing black, I'm seeing blue, and I'm seeing redhead, ginger. Um, it expands your connection with the universe, unlocking the third eye. They think you're very clairvoyant or you have powerful visions or dreams or they dream of you. All that wonder that lies beyond the physical realm. It's like you have some access to the beyond the physical realm. You have these magical powers and that's what they think. Labradorite evokes the magic we all have, reminding us to wield our power by going within and connecting to the core truths of who we are. They feel are very authentic and connected to your core truth and that you chase after your dreams and that you align yourself with the vibration that anything is possible. You're a powerful manifester. You believe that you can manifest anything into your life, that everything is possible. Wow. So Leo Scorpio, and that's your power. That's how empowered you are. Leo Scorpio Sagittarius could be in your important placements in your chart. Doesn't have to be, could be in theirs. More specifically, maybe Neptune in Leo Scorpio Sagittarius or Jupiter in Leo Sag Scorpio Sagittarius. Okay, beautiful. Let's get into the tarot now. What does your crush think of you? What does your crush think of you? Take a deep breath. I feel you guys may need a deep breath. What does your crush think of you? What does your crush think of you? Interesting. You could have a message in pile one for you guys. Temperance and the Fool. They see you as very balanced, very brave. Like you take risks, you take leaps of faith. You make them want to take a risk and a leap of faith. They see you as patient. They see you as balanced. They see you as beautiful. They see you as protected. It's like you're always moving, you're always changing. Maybe your you, your looks are always changing. The number 14 could be relevant, the number 5. It could be a 3, 5, 6 life purpose. Maybe a 1, maybe they could be, or a 4. The fool, you take risks. It's like you're a game changer in some way. Sorry, I don't know why I put this away. You make them want to take a risk. They're highly attracted to you. They see you as very sensual. They want to do things with you in that sense. Oh, okay. Nine of Wands. This person is willing to wait or be patient with you in some way. They see you've been through a lot of things in your life, a lot of battles that you maybe been stabbed in the back. Four of Cups. They see you as always like never um, content in your life. Like you're never uh, fully, like you get bored easily or something. That something about your life right now is a challenge or you're not very happy with and you're trying to start anew. Or when they see you, it's like touch and go, like they see you only a little bit and then time goes by. Ooh, those fell to the floor, it's not taking them at all. So I'm just going to keep going. Six of Wands. They see you as someone who is, is very successful or has the potential to. They admire you. They are inspired by you. You may have a lot of admirers or followers. They think that a lot of people like you, want you, support you in some way, applaud you, cheer for you. Okay. Hmm. Should we get more? Maybe one more. They... They want to win you. They see that it would be a victory to be with you. It would be good for their ego. 
they want to conquer you, yeah. They see you as someone who is a hard worker and you're going to get reap the rewards for your hard work. See you as a queen bee, busy bee. Someone they would find, they would benefit from dedicating themselves to. It would be a wise investment. You would be a healthy choice for them. They see you as someone they would that would make them a better person if they spent every single day with you. That's what I'm seeing here. Wow. Okay, so that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye.